how to best control the depth of your preparations. And let's go right into it, photo number one. And in photo number one, what you are seeing is an analog wax up of a digital model. Now you can do this analog or digital, that I leave it up to you. In this particular case, my main goal is tooth number eight is very, very dark compared to tooth number nine. So if I'm gonna restore these teeth with ceramic restoration, with a glass ceramic, I need to make sure that I control the depth of the preparation for tooth number eight very, very well. Because if I don't do that, I'm gonna end up with a, with a crown that appears to be darker compared to tooth number nine, you know, eight compared to tooth number nine. So let's go now to photo number two. And in photo number two, you are seeing now the patient smile. And in that smile, all I've done is I obtained a PVS impression or a putty impression of my wax up and I've delivered a mock-up directly inside her mouth. If you look at the photo, you can see that tooth number nine is darker, but you can also see that both of these teeth, eight and nine, have a little bit of additional volume that has been added to it. And let's go now to the next photo, which is photo number three. And in photo number three, I've done three horizontal depth cutting guides. On tooth number eight, 1.0 millime millimeters, and on tooth number nine, 0.5 of a millimeter. Why? Because one tooth is darker than the other, and I'll continue my explanation on the next video. See you then.